everyone and welcome to Toronto. My name is Arian from seeyousoon.ca and today I'm showcasing two things that Torontonians are very passionate about, food and beer. Over the past 10 years, both scenes have exploded across the city and when you can find a place that brews their own beer and serves exceptional food, people take notice. So to give you an idea of what the city has to offer, here are the top five brew pubs in Toronto. Number five, Bar Volo. Located along Toronto's most famous street, Young Street, this family-owned brew pub has been serving beer-loving customers since 1985. They offer a huge selection of local craft beer on tap, including six traditional cask-conditioned ales brewed in a small corner of their kitchen. The food is inspired by Spanish-style tapas and Italian spuntini, using meats and cheeses sourced locally. It's a cozy spot to kick off your night with a date or while catching up with a friend. Number four, Batch. Located in the heart of downtown Toronto, Batch is one of the newest brew pubs in the city and is already making a splash. With a stylish interior and large airy windows, Batch is popular amongst the lunch and after work crowds. Six in-house brewed beers can be found on tap, including a pale ale, wit beer, porter, and an Irish red ale. Whether you're coming in for lunch, dinner, or even brunch, the food selection is impressive. I personally recommend the charcuterie board and deviled and smoked eggs. You can work off that meal with a game of ping pong or take a bottle or two of your favorite brew to go. Number three, Folly Brew Pub. Located at College and Dover Court, Folly Brew Pub serves up Belgian style beers with a twist on your typical pub fare. All beers on tap are brewed in-house by brewers Christina and Chris and feature four year-round beers and up to six seasonal selections. With an open concept layout, you'll see co-owners Michelle working behind the bar and Louise running the kitchen. The menu features Portuguese-influenced dishes such as cured and smoked meats, roasted eggplant, and flaming chorizo. Both the beer and food are done exceptionally well and the warm style atmosphere makes you feel like you're part of the family. Number two, Mill Street Brew Pub. Located in Toronto's historic distillery district, Mill Street Brew Pub operates out of the Mill Street Brewery, one of Toronto's most successful craft breweries. In 2006, large-scale brewing was moved to a bigger facility and the brew pub took its place. But small batch seasonals and new product developments are still done out of this location. On tap, you'll find a selection of their core brands, including Ontario's first organic lager and seasonal offerings. The menu stays true to traditional pub offerings, including a shepherd's lamb and lager pot pie and Malaysian chicken curry. It's a very family-friendly spot and a great place to hang out with a group of your friends. And the number one brew pub in Toronto? Indie Ale House. Located in the city's Junction neighborhood, Indie Ale House has mastered the art of craft beer and food pairings. With a no-holds-bar approach to brewing, you'll find unique and hard-to-find beers like sour ales and double IPAs on tap. If you're having trouble choosing from their long draft list, opt for a flight of up to five different beers to taste. When it comes to the food, this is not your average pub fare. Handmade pizzas, southern fried chicken, and their signature indie burger, you can't go wrong with anything on their menu. With exceptional craft beer and food pairings and regular lineups out the door, it's no wonder Indie Ale House is the number one brew pub in Toronto. So whether you're here visiting the city for the first time or you're looking for a place to go with your friends or family or maybe even a special loved one, you cannot go wrong with any one of these brew pubs. Just be sure to enjoy responsibly. For a full list of all the brew pubs here in the city, check out the information section below this video. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet already so you can stay up to date with all of my latest travel adventures. Well, thank you so much for watching everyone. We'll see you soon.